pink rod is a challenge that potato growers face toward the end of the growing season, but also throughout storage. Pink rod is a soil-borne pathogen, and it threatens potatoes when the tubers are approaching maturity, uh, and especially in poorly drained soils. It can be a problem during storage as well, though, and is especially important in highly humid and poorly ventilated storage facilities. The pink rot pathogen can survive in soil for up to seven years and can also be transmitted via infected tubers in storage. The first symptoms of pink rot in the field are usually detected later in the season and they're characterized by kind of the wilting vine, discoloration of stems and roots, and the yellowing of the leaves and defoliation of the plant. Pink rot is easily identified when the tuber or infected tuber tissue really develops a rubbery, spongy texture and it takes on kind of a pinkish hue when it's cut eventually darkening in color as it's exposed to the air. The key problem with pink rot is the fact that these diseases can reside in the tubers and when they're taken into storage, they will start to deteriorate. Pink rot has the potential to drastically impact overall crop yield potential, so it's really important to manage this disease during the growing season. There are several management practices they use to reduce pink rot in potatoes by using the right variety, the right soil conditions, and water management. But one of the most important tools that we have today is to apply a fungicide. We really recommend a program that includes a Rondus Gold fungicide applied in furrow as a banded spray over the seed piece for pink rot control.